All right, what's up, guys? So I'm making a quick little tutorial um, to get my family and my friends to play this game that we see on the screen with me. Um, this is not going to be uh, an exhaustive guide how to get these. It's really just a brief little overview. Um, I'll put links in the description that'll show people uh, if, if they need much more help getting some things installed they could just watch those videos all right so that being said this is the this is the goal to get everyone to play this game and then um, we're also going to talk about communication so we can all talk to each other as well um, this is really cool um, there's a lot of customization and stuff we can do but I'll save that for later in the vi in the video um, for now I just wanted to show you what it looks like Okay, so let's close out of this real quick. Okay, and let's talk about the programs that we need. So to make this happen, the very first thing we're going to have to do is get something called Steam. So Steam is essentially a, um, a store, okay? Picture uh, Walmart, okay? And it's a store where you can go in and buy buy games and then download them digitally okay so that's the first thing we need to do so in order to get this and it's free um, of course once you want to buy games and stuff that's when it costs money but let's uh, let's talk about getting this so what you're gonna type in first is just type in download steam okay now I use DuckDuckGo as my browser but I imagine if you do the same thing on Bing or Google it's gonna be just fine okay we're gonna select this link here and then you're gonna be brought to this screen a lot of stuff is going on okay don't worry about any of this go sh straight up here to install steam okay it's gonna give you some numbers six million people playing 22 million online whatever we don't care about that just hit install steam okay it's gonna ask you hey do you want to save this file whatever you're gonna say yes okay once it downloads you're just gonna click it Windows is gonna ask you if you want to actually go through with this you're gonna say sure and this screen is gonna pop up next okay so you're just gonna hit next select your language just hit install we're gonna keep it simple we're not gonna worry about putting this in another directory whatever then it's gonna run its installation okay now this can take a little bit um, it, for whatever reason it seems to pause here I'm not sure why it may be because I already have it installed but um, even if you already have it installed, all it does is it, it updates it, okay? And we're going to see that later on in another dialogue. So we're going to hit run and see. Here it is. It's updating. Now, in order to create your account, you're going to need an email address. And you'll have to do a, a little, some, some prompts in order to make uh, further progress. All right, so once you get here, of course, you don't have an account, so let's make one. So you're going to click Create New Account there on the bottom of the window. And again, it's going to ask you for your email address. You can use whatever, a Gmail, um, Yahoo, whatever. You're going to put that in two times, something that you can access, of course. Again, you're going to select the U.S. unless you live somewhere else. Then you're going to have to do this little guy. And it's going to pretty much you got to do this to prove that you're not a, a bot. Okay. So what you're going to do here, uh, you might get something different. It might be like airplanes or buses. Um, in this case, we have cars. So let's click everything that has a car. Okay. I think this one has one too. And then you'll hit verify. Okay, good. Once you get the check mark, it means you're you're good to go. 
click agree, and then you're going to hit continue. So of course I didn't put an email address, so I can't go uh, any further, but I'll create, um, like I said, I'll put down in the description another video that you can uh, check out for more details if you have issues. But assuming you don't, let's log in real quick. Okay, and Steam is loading up, and as soon as it's open, uh, beautiful. Here we go. Okay, so here is Steam, all right? You're going to click over on Store, and this is essentially the main menu. If you looked at the previous window where we first went to download Steam, it pretty much looks identical, okay? All right, so you're going to go to store and you're going to type in tabletop. And it's really the first one that picks that uh, pops up. But if it doesn't, just hit this guy here. And you'll see a bunch of things that have the words tabletop. You're looking for a tabletop simulator, okay? So again, click on this guy and. It should be, I think it's either here or it's up here where you go to, it'll say if you want to buy it, okay? Um, since I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to hit play now. And again, I'll put another video that talks more about Steam. Um, okay, so that takes care of the Steam, most of the aspect about getting the game. Um, so I'm going to end the video here and we're just going to make a quick shorter video that talks about Discord and then we'll make one more that talks about the tabletop simulator. Alright, be right back in, in a couple.